Hey YouTube, Halo Guy here. I was thinking a little about Halo's relationship with player versus enemy modes and how Halo Infinite might choose to tackle its PvE experience. And instead of being selfish, I thought I'd share what I came up with all of you lovely people in video format. So here it is. Before we get into Halo Infinite, I think it would be appropriate to go over how PvE in Halo has evolved over the last 10 years, starting with the introduction of the mode Halo 3 ODST. Of course, if you are a history expert, you can skip straight to the Halo Infinite part of the video by going to the timestamp on screen or clicking the timestamp in the description. But if you're wanting a history lesson, I'll give it to you right now. ODST was a standalone campaign with no multiplayer, so in order to warrant a full price tag for the relatively short campaign, Bungie decided to slap on a Horde mode which back in 2009 was all the rage, with titles such as Call of Duty and Gears of War having relatively good success with their respective modes, Spec Ops and Horde. But ODST's Firefight mode became so much more than just a tacked on Horde mode to warrant a full price tag of the game. The mode had you completing 3 rounds of 5 waves which would result in the completion of a set. On completion of rounds and sets, different skills would activate to make the experience harder as you survive longer and longer. The team you would play with had 7 lives between everyone, which was in a shared pool, which sparked a lot of anger and resentment to that one guy who would keep dying over and over again, wasting the life. But it was a fun little mode that would evolve in the coming games in the series, starting with Halo Reach. This version of the mode took away the survival-esque feeling of the mode and replaced it with more of an arcade experience. Well, that was the case for the online version of the mode, where you would play primarily score attack, racking up as many points as you can, competing against the other people you matched with. However, Halo Reach's firefight could also be played within custom games just like ODST, with a ton of customization options, which reflected the rest of the game. Being able to change everything from damage modifiers to player gravity and jump height. Essentially, if you wanted to, you could replicate the experience ODST gave with lower shields and health, lower jump height, and damage output. Like everything in Halo Reach, it was completely customizable to the player's wants and needs, which is why a lot of people still regard this mode as the best version of the mode, despite the online firefight matchmaking not being the greatest in terms of both its settings and its connection. Now, Halo 4 released two years after Reach and evolved the firefight experience so much it was given a completely different name, Spartan Ops. The mode was a full blown side story following the story of Fireteam Majestic while you play as a member of Fireteam Crimson, with full blown cutscenes to top it all off. However, the mode wasn't without its faults. There were no customization options at all except for difficulty and skulls to make it a harder experience. However, you had unlimited lives and didn't revert back to a previous checkpoint on death like a traditional campaign, you would just respawn back into the map exactly where you left off, so dying held absolutely no price at all. There was also no way to actually just jump into one of the maps and play a more classical, unlimited wave firefight experience. You had to play the story mode and complete your objectives given to you either by Palmer or Roland, and because of this, the mode wasn't received well at all, with many people simply wanting their old firefight mode back. Had Firefight and Spartan Ops coexisted together within Halo 4, maybe the community would have received the Spartan Ops mode a lot better and not resented its very existence, allowing for the Season 2 to be released, which was the original plan by 343 Industries. Or at least that's what I'm assuming, since Spartan Ops isn't just called Spartan Ops, it's called Spartan Ops Season 1. When Halo 5 launched in 2015, it had no firefight mode, along with a bunch of other missing staple modes like Infection, Big Team Battle, and even the Forge mode. All of them were missing. It wasn't until June of 2016 where we saw Warzone Firefight make an appearance into the game, which suffered from the exact same flaws of the Halo 4 mode Spartan Ops, but without any of the positives like being an actual side story to the main campaign. The mode was segregated to Warzone, which didn't allow for play within custom games, meaning there were no customization settings and due to the mode being linked to Warzone, it was tied directly into the rec system, meaning if you wanted the good weapons and vehicles, which were pretty much required to kill the over the top bullet sponge bosses, then you had to grind out the rec packs with a lot of hours or, you know, 
buy out the system. Which is why no one likes loot boxes. I would actually argue that Warzone Firefight is actually more pay to win than regular Warzone, but we'll not get into that. Ultimately, 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 do you realise how many times I've tried to say ultimately? I'll try again. Ultimate, ultimately though, I'm gonna go with that. The mode left a sour taste in fans of the Firefight mode of the past and is only really utilised by those grinding to 152 as it gives out a very generous amount of XP, which is its only redeeming quality. But you didn't come here for a history lesson. Of course, if you just skip straight here with the timestamp, then you didn't get a history lesson at all, but you also ruined my audience retention rate, so I hope you're happy with yourself. Anyway, for Infinite, I believe we can take what made each more great, yes, even Halo 5's terrible attempt at the mod, and this is exactly how I'd do it. We're going to bring back Spartan Ops from Halo 4 with Spartan Ops Season 2. Okay, stay with me or don't click off. Let me explain where I'm going with this and what is happening and that I'm not spiralling down into a state of insanity. We will get a PvE section on the main menu. Maybe we'll call it PvE or something a little more creative. I'm terrible at naming things, just look at my titles. Absolutely horrendous. But, when we go into the menu, there will be two modes, Spartan Ops and Firefight. However, on your first boot up of this section of the menu, Firefight will be greyed out and not be able to be accessed. So, how do you access it, I hear you ask? Well, when you complete different Spartan Ops missions, you will unlock the map the mission took place on as a Firefight map, where you will be able to play out an endless round based horde mode just like old times. With waves, rounds and sets and even skills, the Firefight mode will also allow for unlimited customization of player and enemy traits, just like Halo Reach, allowing the player to play exactly as they wish. Essentially, the mode kind of acts as a free play mode as a reward for completing the corresponding Spartan Ops mission, allowing both modes to coexist together without needing too much extra dev time to make separate maps, as they'll be using the exact same maps. The unlimited waves of enemy spawns is really the only thing that needs to be coded. I think. I don't know anything about code so I could be completely wrong about that but I'm assuming it wouldn't be too difficult since the map was already made for Spartan Ops along with all of the enemy spawn points. But as for Halo 5's contribution, well, at the beginning of each round an ordnance prompt will come up on the player screen not unlike Halo 4's multiplayer where you will get 4 options of randomised weapons you can choose from. When you select what you want, it could be a spanker or a sniper or even a tank, when you select what you want, if it's a weapon, 3 or 4 fully loaded weapons will fall in weapon pods from the sky around the player's sort of general vicinity to use. And if a vehicle is selected, the vehicle could come down in a pelican and as the player levels up their Spartan rank, more specialised wrecks could become available such as the Nornfang, the Wraith Ultra or the Whiplash. Of course that feature probably wouldn't be implemented into your Spartan rank, it would almost definitely be put into rec packs, but a man can dream. And that, my boys and girls, is the Halo Infinite 5 faint mode I would design if given full reign, in a nutshell. Did you like it? Anything you would add or change? Was it the worst thing you've ever heard? And I should never tell anyone any idea I ever have ever again, keeping all of my thoughts completely 100% private? Let me know down below, I'll be interested to know what you think. But other than that guys, like the video if you enjoyed, it helps the channel out a ton. Subscribe with notifications if you haven't already to stay up to date with all my latest videos as soon as they go live. I'd like to thank you all for watching to the end, I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time, and have a good one.